every year we mark Human Rights Day by chalking the steps with the articles from the Universal Declaration of Human Rights from 1948. This was the first time that rights were granted in an international document to everybody on the planet. It's a document that sets the standard for how states should treat and also protect their citizens from human rights violations. Six of us came from our house, yeah. um, so we're kind of in solidarity with each other. <laughs> My girlfriend Marta has been working really hard, so I thought it was important to come out and support her. Um, we did it last year and it always looks really nice. A lot of people is, is going to see this and hopefully we will remind them of human rights and how important they are. There's a lot of people who might not always know all their rights or know about the declaration and so it's good to have it there and it's a good way for students sort of to think about it when they go past as well. Maybe they see their language and they sort of read their article in their language which I think is really good. It's all around us the reasons why we're often you know, very safe here in the UK compared to so many other countries and it gives us a moment to stop and pause and think about other people in other parts of the world who don't have it as easy as we do. And there's really nice symbolism to it because uh, we know the estates won't wash it away, it will be washed away by itself. So there's something nice about um, the fact that um, if you don't work with human rights it will disappear. I think it's important to keep it in people's minds. I mean it was made a long time ago um, and a lot of people enjoy the human rights without even knowing they are. Um, and I think that's why they forget sometimes that they are important. It is really important that our students who are studying human rights mark the Universal Declaration because this was the first time that rights were given to everybody on the planet through an international document and yet there are so many today who still lack full enjoyment of those rights 65 years after the promulgation of the Declaration.